All right, I'm here today with Ted Dutcher, former San Diego Padre pitcher, also Wall Street executive. And we're talking a little bit about addiction, Ted. I'm with a company called Best Drug Rehabilitation. And what we've done is we found a way to tackle addiction holistically. Being that you know you're around Wall Street and you've been around the, the you know the sports in industry, what's your thoughts on addiction? Well, I think people find themselves uh, in situations, uh, pressures of life or uh, pressures to exceed uh, expectations uh, that, that they may have set, set for themselves or the people they're around may have set for them. Uh, uh, adds a little extra pressure to them to look to other substances and other ways to achieve what they think their potential is. So whether it's in the athletic world or in the business world, and I've seen addictions in both, um, you know, people just, uh, they don't count on themselves to wake up in the morning and be right. They Sometimes they need a little push or a little extra incentive. And Bam. over time, you know, over time it, uh, it takes its toll. And uh, even when they're not achieving those goals, now they still have the addiction. What they thought was gonna give them that advantage or give them that edge, all of a sudden is, is becoming a huge crutch. We have the sports industry now. And I want to talk a little bit about Alden Smith, mm -hmm. okay? Because, you know, I've talked to a lot of the NFL players, and Alden Smith, of course, is big news. He's a great player. Uh, he's at rehab right now. Yeah. And what I'd like to ask, you know, being that you're, you know, from Wall Street and, you know, from the sports area, does the NFL do enough or can we do more? I think you can always do more. I mean, it's, it's really cutting through the barrier to where uh, players. Uh, seek the help more than they are worried about the, uh, uh, this, the stigma that comes along with their addiction is. In other words, um, uh, how do we break through the barrier where players are more comfortable coming forward and dealing with their addiction and getting the help that they need? Yeah. When we were young, you know, the average time that an individual might have drank a beer was, was 14 years old, mm -hmm. okay? It has now moved down into the fifth grade. What are we going to do with these kids to help them? What's, what's your thoughts there? Again, it's, it's breaking through barriers. And uh, I think, unfortunately, now the barrier is at home. Um, I've spent quite a lot of time. Family life. Family life. Uh, what, uh, what the parents' expectations are. The parents are more afraid of that, you know, that umbrella of, a doubt, am I a good parent, am I a bad parent? So they let the kids do whatever they want to do, they get away with whatever they want to get away with. And talking about society in general now, it's not the same when you and I grew up where I knew if I drank a beer when I was 14 or 15 years old, I was going to get a, a bam, a good kick in the butt. <laughs> yeah, kick in the um, butt. Today, you know, it's uh, having two kids that have gone through high school, gone through college. Uh, today, the peer pressure is huge. Right. We've been talking to some of the big opinion leaders in sports. Mm -hmm. You know, the Herman Moores, you know, you look at the John Jollies, uh, you know, Alden Smith, you know, after he gets, you know, gets better and gets back in the game, starting like an addiction 101 class wow. where we bring the parents to the auditorium of the high school or junior high that the individual team plays at or, you know, as a student at, and we actually mentor the parents to learn how to communicate with their kids, to ask the right questions and if necessary to do a drug test nice. and we bring the kids along after we've had trained the parents the same day yeah. we have a training session of course the kids may be throwing the football playing a little baseball basketball and that's how we get them there yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we uh then we formulate you know some policies that the parents can learn from and we call it addiction 101 awesome. and actually train the parents spot on spot on yeah <laughs> so any words of advice for me before I let you go? No, I think uh, the program sounds awesome. Uh, keep up the good work. I, I mean, I'd love to see it in my town. Uh, yeah, there you go.